All right, Shalom. First off, I would like to give all glory, honor, and infinite praises unto Yahweh Ba'ashem, Yahweh Shai Ba'ashem, Rachah HaKodash. Double honors to the apostles and elders of great millstone that teach and rule well and labor in 100% doctrine, all learn this truth from according to the Bible. And Shalom to the hopeful elect, pushing his truth and our righteousness and his sincerity around the four winds of the earth. And to the sincere believers in the few Akwaf, I would like to say Shalom. I'm the brother Ha'amayan, and Lord willing, this be an edifying lesson straight to the point about the wickedness of this place, man. Babylon the Great, which is America, there's nothing but confusion here, okay? This uh, one minute and 30 second video I'm going to play and bring out a few precepts to tie in to this wickedness. Pursuant to this video, man, and this is what Esau Edom, the so-called white man, which is the devil, the Bible speaks of, pushes on two-thirds of Israel, man, so-called Negroes, Latinos, and Native American Indians, man. That's why y'all can't get right, man, because you're in love with wickedness, okay? So I'm going to play this video. But I was just bullshitting, man. <laughs> I know I said I was going to be a girlfriend. I know I said I was going to start being with you, Dad. No fucking way, boy. Boy ain't no 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 way, boy. Hey man, wickedness, man. Let's get uh hey man, let's get uh Romans chapter one and let's go into uh a few things in this in this particular chapter. Because hey man, this this place is wicked and our people are the face front. They're the face of this wickedness, man. Okay. Uh Romans chapter 1 and verse 26. And for this cause, the Most High gave them up unto vile affections, for even their women did change the natural use that which is against nature. And guess what? They don't repent, you will be put to death, man. Ultimately, you're, uh, you're ultimately the second death, which is the 200 million missiles that's going to annihilate this place, okay? Verse 27, and likewise also the men leaving the natural use of the woman burned in their lust one toward another, men with men, working that which is unseemly and receiving in themselves that recompense of their error which was meat. Okay, men with men, man, things that unseemly, man. Okay. And like like the like these brothers that brought this brother put, I don't know if it's an elder or a brother, but it, I mean you know it's a brother. Uh, it says Jim at spiritual words, Sirach nineteen twenty nine. A man may be known by his look, and one that have understanding by his countenance when thou meetest him. And what type of countenance does Bobby Schmoder has, man? Along with other Jakes, man, in this industry world, man, the, in the celebrity world. They have that effeminate, that 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 queer, that that softness about them, man. That you know, that wickedness, man. That that unseemly, that man, that that that, and that's the spirit. Cause look, this this brother, 
bringing the, bringing the same precepts out, man, or posted it, okay, as I'm as I'm bringing it out in uh, the blue letter, man. So back into Romans one and twenty and twenty seven, it says, and likewise also the the men leaving the natural use of the woman, and that's and that's balanced, man, man with woman, because that's how you procreate. Okay, a man put his seed inside of inside of a woman. He enter into a woman quiver, and puts children in her, man, which comes from the man's semen. Okay, it says burning their lust of one toward another, men with men, working that which is is unseemly and receiving themselves that recompense of their error which was meat, and even as they did not like to retain. Yahweh in their knowledge, Yahweh gave them over to a reprobate mind to do those things which are not convenient. That's not convenient, man. That's inhumane. It's not human like. That's against nature, bro. Okay. Isaiah chapter 3 and verse 9. The shoe of their countenance doth witness against them. And they declare their sin as Sodom, they hide it not. Woe meaning destruction, great misery and trouble. Okay, woe unto their soul, for they have rewarded evil unto themselves, man. That's why these bad times are coming, man, because it's really punishment for Jake and their wickedness, man. Which Yahweh Shah hates, man. And we're supposed to hate the same thing, man. Love not the world, neither the things that are in it. Okay. Let's go. I want to say Jude chapter 1. Uh, let's see. Jude chapter 1 and verse 7. Even as Sodom and Gomorrah and the cities about them in like manner, giving themselves over to fornication, it says, and going after strange flesh and set forth for an example, suffering the vengeance of eternal fire. This place is going to be burnt with fire, man, due to their wickedness, man, like Sodom and Gomorrah. In the five cities, man, if I'm not mistaken. So like it if I'm misspeaking it, so like it. But I want I think it was five. Um yeah, man. Two thirds along with this wickedness, man, that, that they're pushing, that they're upholding, that they're indulging, that they're that they're indulged in. Okay. You're gonna be put to death, man, if you don't repent, man. And we know it is a two third remnant man not the elect remnant but two thirds is a big group that's going to be annihilated in that lake of fire along with everyone else man okay which will be taking place over here in babylon the great which is america man because this place is nothing but a ball of confusion okay let's get um luke chapter 16 and i want to say 15 or 15 yeah, Luke 16 and 15. And he said unto them, Ye are they which justify yourselves before men, but the most high Yahweh knoweth your hearts, your minds, man. For that which is highly esteemed among men is an abomination in the sight of the most high, man. And that is that wickedness right there is esteemed among people, man. They call it uh it's like a hate crime if you go against it. Okay, they don't really want us to be keeping the law, statutes, and commandments of Yahweh by Shemal Shah. They want us to be with Esau, Esau, Esau Edom's agenda, man, which we're not, man, because that's against the scriptures. That's against Yahweh Shemal Shah, and it's against righteousness, man. The Lord doeth no iniquity, man. Okay? That's why, he's, that's why it's only right for the Lord to come back and purify this place by fire and um, put an end to this nonsense, man. Okay? So, Lord willing, matter of fact, I'm going to close out the lesson with uh, Revelation chapter 
21. I'm going to start at verse 7. He that overcome shall inherit all things, and I will be his power. He shall be my son. But the fearful, the unbelieving, and the abominable, and murderers, and whoremongers, and sorcerers, and idolaters, and liars, and all liars shall have their part in the lake which burneth with fire and brimstone, which is the second death. Okay, so Lord willing, this was an edifying lesson. Okay, I'll be right as I. I would like to close out by giving our glory, honor, and infinite praises unto Yahweh Bahashem, Yahweh Shai Bahashem, Baha HaKodash. Double honors to the apostles and elders of great millstone that teach and rule well and live in 100% doctrine. How long this truth from according to the Bible? Shalom to the hopeful elect pushing his truth and our righteousness and the sincerity around the four winds of the earth. To the sincere believers and the few Akwaf. Shalom, Babakosha, 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 Bababa, death and destruction to this place of America. Okay, Kwame Asharala, Barak Kal Akim, Bababa, Shalom.